Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Awakening. Today's episode is a request episode from one of my viewers. They were wondering, how do you limit the amount of items going into your ME system to a certain amount and delete anything above that? Partitioning drives does not work directly for that. I'm going to show you several different methods. The first one is just going to be using nothing but the items from Applied Energistics. All right, so the demonstration that I'm going to do today, I'm going to use sand because that's what they mentioned. And I'm going to show how to store a set amount of that and then void anything above that. All right, so if you've never messed around with priorities, if you click on devices, you can see up here this wrench icon, it says priority. This is set at 98, this drive bay right here. This one here, is set at 99 this one is 100 so what that means is as items come in they go to the highest number first okay so items are going to try and go into this drive then to this drive then to this one 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 like that all right we can use priorities to our advantage all right we're going to need some cabling we're going to put that down here we're going to run up to here and plug it into our ME system. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put down an ME drive. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run over here to our cell workbench, and we are going to put in a 1K ME drive. Oops, wrong. That goes up here. Now we're going to partition that to sand. All right, sand like that. Now, what that means is the only thing that will go on this drive is sand. So we're gonna put that in here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the priority up to say 2000. So that means if I was to create sand in this um, condenser, oops, didn't actually mean to do that. Let's see, okay, it's empty. This drive just filled up with sand. It's going to go into this first and then it's going to go into our ME system. Now the question is how do you get rid of the extra? Well we set this at 2000 priority which means it's going to go here and then to our normal storage. So what we want to do is we want a matter condenser and we're going to hook that into our ME system. We're going to put it right here and we're going to add a cable like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stick an ME storage bus onto the side of this. We're going to give it, give it a second so that it can connect. Device is missing channel. Um, we'll go into this. The matter condenser, you can see ME condenser, output, destroy items. We can set it to ME condenser, output, store, oh, store but don't condense items or condense items into singularities. Now we may as well just make singularities out of all these void items. So if we put a 64K ME storage cell in here and set it to condense into singularities, we can take advantage of those extra waste items. All right, so this is online now. Now we're going to set this to sand. And then we're going to set the priority to 1,999. Actually, you know what? Let's set it to 1,900. That means we could store multiple bays here. So this one is set to 2,000 for the drive. This is set, oops, the bus. You got to click on the bus the storage bus is set to 1900, which means now, as we input items from these ME interfaces, they go to this, then the next place they try and go is here. If it's sand, it'll allow it to go in. If it's anything else, it goes to the normal storage. All right, so if we look in my ME system, actually, let's see. Let's get a ME storage monitor. We're going to put this down and we're going to right click it. Whoops, wrong button. We're going to right click it with sand and it's going to show 120,000, which unfortunately, I was hoping it would show an exact item. Sand. You can see that we have 120,577. All right, dark matter is. 335,000 EMC and sand is only one 
So when I throw this into here, this is going to create 335,872 sand. Now if we set this up right, that'll all be pouring in and you can see this number is not rising at all. All right, sand. Hey, you can see no sand is being added to the system because what's happening is it's coming in, it's trying to go here, this is full, and then the next stop is in here and it's actually getting put into this ME storage component here. Now the next thing we would actually do is, let's see, do I have, no. We're going to take an import bus and we're going to put it here and then we're going to hook this up to here. Now what that's going to do is as this, oh, okay, Whew, that scared me for a second. All right, as this creates the singularities, they'll automatically be pulled into the system. Now you might be wondering singularity, what, you know, what are those used for? All right, let's look it up. Those are actually used for the dimension builder. And you're gonna need to make a few of these if you're gonna mess around with RF tools dimensions. So you might as well use up the extra. All right, so if you use an ME chest like I do for your quarry, if you want to, instead of voiding those items, you can actually do a setup like this, okay? You can partition a drive for one drive for cobblestone, one for sand, one for dirt, one for gravel, and then anything above that, you would also, f whoops, wrong button. And then, then you would go to the storage bus and you would say, you know, sand, cobblestone, gravel, dirt, and then it'll store one drive full and then delete the extra. Now, if you want a different amount, like if I pull this out, you can see over here, I'm pointing to it and you can't see it, over here, 112,000, if I put this back in, it's 120,000. 120, so this holds roughly 8,000 sand. So, you know, if you don't need a ton of sand, you know, 8,000 is quite a bit of sand. So, you know, a 1K storage drive could work. Just remember, this priority is higher than this priority. This priority is higher than that priority. And you're going to filter using an ME storage bus because an ME storage bus. Okay, how an ME storage bus works, it will not pull items from the ME system and put them into there. What it will do is any fresh items will get put into the storage bus as long as the priority is higher than the rest of the drives. All right, now there are several other ways you could do this. Instead of doing the drive and doing this, we could go and do, let's see, we could grab a storage drawer and we could grab a void upgrade. All right, now this one is a little bit simpler, but I wanted to show just applied energistics parts because if you're playing a different mod pack, you might not have all of these. All right, so if we have a storage bus and we put that here and we put sand in it like this and we set the priority higher than our other storage drives. So let's see, we'll set it at 2000 because that's what we set this at. Now, if I get rid of this, all right, and then we're going to shift right click on this with an empty hand. We're going to put the void upgrade in here. All right, now what's going to happen is, is if I throw, actually, you know what? I'm wasting dark matter, even though it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put in just one dark matter. This will give me 83,000. All right, so what it's going to do is it already filled this up. It's going to hold 2,000. Now, you can put upgrades into this, you know, like put an emerald one in. Yeah, it'll hold quite a bit. And now see all the extra is still being voided. So instead of using the storage bay or the, uh, what is this, ME drive, and doing it that way, we decided, you know, we can use the, wow, can't even think of it. Let's see, priority 2000. We'll set that back up there. We use the storage drawer with the void upgrade instead of the drives. Now, if you're trying to save space, you may as well use an ME drive. You could also use a chest here instead. All right, now instead of using the matter condenser, we could also use a trash can. 
all right you would just grab your trash can like this you would set this down like this you would grab your storage bus like that you're gonna set this priority to actually before you set the priority you're actually before you even hook it up you're gonna want to set that to sand so you're not voiding items now if I had gone and bump this up to 1900 that without a uh, item filter in here that would have started putting everything I'm putting into my ME system directly into the trash all right you might be wondering okay you know well what uses would you have for this you know okay quarry is one of them you know but why not just click the void thing on the filter on your quarry and just get rid of the extra there are other things you could use this for okay one would be that if we go to nuclear craft which I've run into this problem and then I was like okay well I might as well do a video on this since I'm gonna be building a whole system around this feature all right what happens is is when you get uranium you're gonna take that and you're going to where is it there we go you're gonna put it in an isotope separator and it's gonna do its little thing and you're gonna end up with uranium 238 two whole ones of that and then you're gonna wind up with two tiny lumps of uranium 235 all right why is that a big deal well if you hit uses you can say yeah we can make weak RTGs but these generate 5 RF per tick and they take up a lot of space and I can generate ones or you know I'm I can make ones that generate anywhere from 100 to 500 now all right we're gonna need some for, de for depleted uranium plating and we need it for bullets and we need it for fuel ooh Ooh. Now see, I missed this. Ooh. If we make this uses I got to check this out now. What does this give me? Ooh. 241 and 242? Oh, I just found out something cool. Okay. Anyway, I got distracted. What I was saying is uses for this now I may have to look into this. What I was going to say is you end up with way, way more uranium because if you're making the regular fuel, you're either going to make this one or this one most likely. I didn't realize that there were all these other fuels. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to be making some of this. All right. That is cool because one of the things I was ending up with a lot extra was um, plutonium-239 and uranium-238. So I can actually use these to get one or plutonium 241 and 242, which I need for making other things. That's actually really, really good. Anyway, what I was ending up with was, you know, you need eight uranium and you're getting two from each one, which means you're getting one, two, three, four cycles, and you're only ending up with eight of the small uranium 235s, which means for every one two three four every five cycles you end up with one more of these if you're making the low fuel now if you're making this stuff which I need to make a bunch of you're gonna miss out or you miss out you're gonna have a ton a ton of extra uranium so what you could do is have a drive with like each of the two types and have it feed directly into that and then once this fills up it would back up and you wouldn't be able to do anything you'd have to void the extra uranium 238 if you wanted to do that but now that I'm seeing that it actually has a use which reminds me I left my reactor running all night where is the hole to get down here oh there it is I covered it all right so I left this running all last night the matter or the energy condenser ran out of red matter furnaces because I what I did was I just put one in each slot because I didn't want it to get too full and I am inputting power to this via a, uh, ooh. We got plenty of power now, so I'm gonna take these out real quick. I hate the fact that you get the wither effect from these nether star generators. All right, because you can't even fly right. Let's see. Oops, 
throw that in there, that in there, that in there, that, 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 and that. All right, so I left this running all night, and I did input power because it's outputting way more to use these nine um, isotope separators. But you can see, like, I have 5,900 fuel cells. And what I did was it keeps one stack in this chest at all times because what I want to do is be able to open this and any that I make by hand I can throw in here and then stick one in here to start the process and it'll pull all of those out and do them. Now what it does is it comes out of the controller, the depleted fuel cell goes into here, gets split up, all of that gets put into my ME system. All right, I'm running out of time, so let's get up here and you can see this is how much byproduct I've gotten just during the night. All right, that does it for this episode. I hope it was helpful and you now know how to avoid the extra items. If you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment down below and I can try and explain it um, in a way that's easier to understand, understand if you didn't understand it. All right, that does it for today's episode. Until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer signing off.